Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we're looking at the Batmo Beast from McFarlane Toys' DC Multiverse line, a monster truck that is actually an action figure in disguise, right? So you got the big Batmo Beast DC Multiverse logo. This thing is enormous. It's a huge box, right? Huge vehicle, Batmo Beast. It's part of the whole Dark Knight's death metal ensemble, if you read those comics from, well, about a year and a half, two years ago now. Nice photos of the product, right? It's basically a giant roll cage with a top to it. I'll show you how everything works. But if you're not familiar, right? So death metal, it went bonkers bananas, right? So at some point, you had Swamp Thing, Wonder Woman, Barry Allen, and Batman driving a <laughs> giant monster truck. And really, the monster truck in and of itself is one of the many uh, negative worlds from the whole dark multiverse. There was a Batman who put his consciousness into all forms of technology, and the people revolted, and Batman died, technically, right? But uh, a monster truck was left with his consciousness. And at some point in Death Metal, they uh, uh, commandeer him, right? They kind of reroute his power, take over, and... Swamp Thing, I've read this comic and I didn't even notice this, like Swamp Thing tells a joke and the Batmo Beast is like, eh, like kind of gives him attitude and then there's the panel right here where he kind of kills him, right? And I kind of had no inclination, I was like, oh, he just kind of broke his front thing. I don't know, apparently Batmo Beast is dead. And if you were wondering, yes, in previous videos I was like, I'm not getting the Batmo Beast, it's too big. Well, it's uh, a couple days ago, it was my birthday and a, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, was, uh, you know, it's always been a joke, what do I what do I get for the guy who collects figures and yada yada? Well, uh, this is what they got for me. So, I'm very appreciative, this is gonna be great, and I hope that uh, you and the kiddo enjoy this video. So, this is gonna be fun, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the ginormous Batmo Beast. And of course, here's everything taken out of the box. Fairly straightforward. Just cut the pieces of tape and cut the heavy duty zip ties that are holding the sucker down in the box. And you got a really cool looking Batmo Beast. There are Batman symbols all over this thing from the front to the back to the tires. And like I said, it's huge, right? Really nice. Interesting vehicle. I like that McFarlane does the vehicles. You got the front right here. You got the bit of a, a Batmo Beast face, right? I like that the eyes are a little bit different. It kind of coincides with the artwork, the various looks that they did for Batmo Beast. Kind of looks like he's kind of winking. Kind of looks like various panels. So I definitely dig that they did that. Plus, with all the artwork on it, kind of looks like the comic book itself. The tires are huge. They're big, huge rubber tires with the Batman symbol right there in the wheel well, and you have huge skulls, Batman skulls. It's, it's insane. It makes me laugh because it's so ridiculously big, but it's really cool that they made this at the same time, and yeah, lo and behold, you can put a Batman figure in there, right? So that's pretty cool. So you have the Batmo Beast here, right? And like I said, huge, yada, yada. The tires work very well. It's not that foam kind of thing that a lot of uh, remote control tires have been using. This very thick rubber. So this vehicle is pretty heavy. I'll give it to them all day. You have cracked windshields, really nice graphic details that are printed on the blue part while inside you'll see the roll cage is largely just gray plastic. So there's not a lot, but you simply just twist this piece right here. That unlocks the top part. Then you're gonna take these pins, right? Pull each of those out. There's only two. And I'm gonna tell you honestly, really take it easy with this because I'll show you the details with this whole plastic cover. But lo and behold, once you take it off, then yeah, you do have a pretty cool roll cage Batman inside, you know, you can put your figure. It doesn't come with the figure. You just kind of get him separately if you've got him in the past. But it's very detailed, very nicely sculpted. It's just one, I would say, for the price point, which is $80. There's not a lot of paint to it. I mean, if this was really done out with washes, lights are on, paint, little paint details here and there, I would say that would have warranted just a little bit better for the whole price tag on this, I'm just going to say. Though it was a gift, and I'm very appreciative of it. I'm saying in terms of if you were to get it, 
and I was on the vents too. Although I have never seen this thing in the store to this day. Now in terms of the top part, the plastic piece with all the uh, artwork deco on it, it is extremely flimsy. And I'll say that for the $80 price point, I really wish that this was like a solid plastic. This is the type of plastic that they put on modern remote control cars. And as soon as you hit a wall, it splits. Even as a kid, I had this. It splits as soon as you knock it over, something like that. So it's extremely brittle. So go very easy. This is the type of uh, figure or car that years from now, they're going to say, yeah, it did not last. It's got brakes. It's got cracks. But the windshield's nice. The deco is nice to it. But uh, it's, it's extremely flimsy. And with the whole situation with putting Batman in there, right? So you simply just kind of finagle his hands onto the steering wheel I'll show you all that and Batman just kind of slips out the top and if you have this particular Batman or any Batman it just kind of works it's kind of suited for the death metal Batman but uh, inside you can see very detailed out has all the parts and pieces you expect for a monster truck it's got a big old Batman steering wheel to it and that's really it in terms of anything moving of course the tires will move but the steering wheel doesn't affect the tires. It's a very solid plastic, except for, let's say, the exhaust. I would say if you hit that wrong, you could potentially snap that off. But there's no shocks. There's nothing like that. They're sculpted in there, but they don't do anything. But I like the tires. I like that you could just monster truck over anything. And they definitely work pretty well. Now, it varies kind of with the artwork, but you kind of have to make changes for the wheels to turn. You can't have big... Batman spikes, but you simply just situate Batman or any Batman figure you want to get in there. It'll definitely fit. Put his hands on the steering wheel and you're a going. Now, one thing, of course, I'll tell you is that while the plastic top piece is very janky, I don't really care for the pins that lock it in. You know what I mean? It's just it's two separate pieces. It's just kind of odd, but at the same time, I mean, it works for what it is, but with the again with the price point what this is selling at you kind of expected a little bit more because it is just really two little pieces and i mean it's old school ish but at the same time <laughs> it's like okay i guess that works and just as far as the batmo beast itself the fact that this exists is amazing to me i think it's hilarious i think it's awesome is this something we needed no is this something we all joked about when mcfarlane got the license and was doing death model i even said i'm like oh yeah they got to do the monster truck and the dinosaur and everything well, they did the monster truck. So, I mean, I can't complain too much. And you see the sizing between said Batmo Beast and a Batman. It's humongous. So if you have all the prior death metal figures, I mean, it really does make for a really great display. I mean, you take all the death metal Batmans, Dark Knights Metals Batman, the Robin Crows, the Crow King. You got the Batman who laughs. You situate them all in there. And... It can hold a bunch of figures in the trunk. You can situate it. You can put a ton in there. It only really fits one figure inside itself, which totally works in terms of what we see in the comic books. But, I mean, I got to give it to him. It's so ridiculous, but it's what I expect McFarlane to make. And when you have all the death metal heroes, Batman shredding a guitar, you got the Superman, you got that really awesome Wonder Woman, it just... It's so wackadoo that I do love it. Where am I going to put this thing? God, I don't know. It's sitting on the uh, floor of my office right now. So that's something to consider space-wise, just price-wise. I would say, if anything, maybe wait till this hits clearance. Again, I've never seen it. It was given to me as a gift, and I do love it. But putting it somewhere, that's a question in and of itself. So I would say, yeah, the $80 price point is a little bit extreme for what you're getting. I wish things were a lot more solid plastic, but just go really easy on the top part if you do get it. But everything else is pretty solid. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this Batmo Beast. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batmo Beast. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, oh, hey, did I mention that I was out of town when a friend gave this to me for my birthday? And then I had to bring it back on the plane. So if you were wondering, said Batmobile will fit nice and comfortably inside the overhead compartments. And all the flight attendants that are asking me, they're like, oh, yeah, isn't that great? Like, oh, it's so great. You bring this home for your kid. It's so great. I'm like, yeah kid uh-huh yeah sure and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios